So we have this commitment that we need to make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we say that our religion, our deen is for Allah. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينِ Allah said that we are only commanded to make this religion sincere for Him. That we are doing it truly for the pleasure of Allah. Because in the pleasure of Allah, we succeed. If Allah is pleased with us, it means we are doing the right thing. And those right things that we do benefit us ultimately. And that's why we should seek to do it. Because of course the concept of doing things to please Allah. When we, as human beings we like to do things to please ourselves. But no, ultimately, when we please Allah, we will please ourselves. We will be pleased. Because if Allah is pleased with us, then we will attain what is ultimately pleasurable. And that is paradise. It may have difficulties on the way, but ultimately, the ultimate pleasure of paradise will be ours. In pleasing Allah, we do so in order to attain what He created us for. He created us for paradise. That's why Adam was in paradise. That's where we belong. But due to our own failings, due to our own inconsistencies, our negativities, Satan busy pulling the rug from under us, tripping us, putting potholes so we'll stumble, fall in, hurt ourselves. With all this struggle that is there, we end up falling off the path. So, if you are among those who have fallen, and those who fall are many, know that it's not the end. You're still alive. You still have a chance. You're still in a better position than many other people who fell off and just kept falling. They didn't turn around. They didn't try to get back. At least you have made something of an effort. So don't give up. Don't. Never give up. As long as what you're trying to do is good, it's worth never giving up.